This is Cringe, Sharp, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because the well, world's out the plane and they're about to the stampede. The gather. Then I'd like to get your thoughts. Um, first of all, CJ and Mills are rotating number ones. Yeah. Um, and, and I understand that they're not they're not the only ones rotating ones. We have, um, you know, at the center position, it's not Scruggs yet. It's still Scott Quesenberry. Uh, um, so all over the place. Will Anderson didn't start at the ones either. Um, no, no. So, and Perryman's not starting at the ones. So, you know, uh, Michael okay, well, that, that one's That one's not start. entirely true. They, 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 they've oh. been... They've been rotating him in with the ones, uh, but there were plays where they went to a nickel base, and there was the hesitation between 58 and 6 on the field. Harris was the one that was staying in off him. Okay. All right. Um, so, w basically, I see the strategy from D'Amico is that they he doesn't want to just give the keys to anyone. He wants every single person to fight for their job, and, and, I, and he really doesn't care about draft position. Uh, how much you're paying them, they're going to fight for their job. That's what it seems to me. I like it. The only problem I have is lack of experience. Like I think I think most people would agree that we don't lack talent anymore. What we lack is experience. And if those ones don't have the necessary experience out there, are we doing them a disservice by trying to play this game saying, earn your job? What do you think about that? Yes and no. Like, I mean, you watch what happens to Carolina right now, and they basically came out and said, nope, he's QB1. We're not going through the song and dance of Andy Dalton. Andy's the veteran who's here to be a backup. Bryce Young's our starter week one. It, it's not that level, but what I do think is it is about just kind of learning how to play with your teammates. I, I brought this up on a podcast, I think, last week, where I want to be able to see – cohesion with every single player in that locker room with CJ Stroud because of you are the leader of the offense. You are the one that is calling the shots on the field. You're the one making the audibles. You're the one that has to know exactly which way your right tackles blocking while also knowing which route your slot receivers running. And at the time you have to go ahead and throw it. You have to be on the anticipation. You have to be on the timing. You have to be on the mechanics. You have to be on the, accuracy you have to be on the touch you have to have all these other nuances while also paying attention to a blitz that's coming up the middle and trying to evade the pressure so a quarterback's job is to know everything about the offense and so right now i also need to know what are the strengths and weaknesses of everyone on said team so i want to know what happens if say Kenyon green gets hurt during week two and they have to throw on michael right. Dieter. i need to know what Dieter is going to do on the field i need to know where are his weaknesses? Where are the glaring parts of his game to where I have to now prepare for blitz coming up the middle, bull rush is coming up the middle. How can I better myself to get rid of the ball, feel the anticipation, and build a rapport with those receivers? Like that's where you're at right now when talking about CJ Stroud and Bray Davis Mills. I want them to know everything about the offense. Every other position is kind of weird because – the way that they're trying to be on defense, it's just versatile. Like, if you really look at the scheme style, and I don't want to give too much information away because if I could get in trouble with the team, so I'm just going to keep it as right. blatantly as bland but open as possible. You cannot be a one-position type guy. Like, like for D'Amico's defense to work to a T, you have to be interchangeable. So one thing that he preached about throughout all of OTAs is that linebackers – I don't care if you can play Mike. I need to know that you can also play Sam and that you can also play on the weak side and that you gotcha. can go ahead and have delayed blitzes and that you can make an impact in coverage. And we got to be able to see where you fit in. Like Jalen Petrie and Jimmy Ward, they're so interchangeable of type guys. They're, you're not going to know who's playing free and who's playing so strong on Sundays. Like you're just going to see the lineup and you're going to go, okay, Jimmy's down low, Jalen's up high. Next play, they're lining up in a two, in a two high formation. Next play, Jimmy's up high, Jalen Zelda. They have to be able to do it all. And so I think right now, especially at positions that aren't solidified, which is left guard, center, third linebacker. And again, like he, like when he was in San Francisco, there's a guy, and I know that you, you guys hate them, but there's a guy by the name of Aziz Al-Shahir who signed a one-year deal with the Tennessee Titans. Yep, yep. He had to learn how to play all three linebacker spots. And because of that, he was actually voted on, uh, I think it was by Pro Football Focus, as the best number three linebacker in the NFL. And so now he's going to get the opportunity to be the number one linebacker for Tennessee in place of David Long. 
Like you have to be able to accept that change and interchangeability and versatility is what's going to get you playing reps. It's why you drafted a guy like Jared Patterson. It's why you took a risk on Juice Scruggs because if they do have reps at other positions, the best players are going to be on the field. And the versatility aspect of it is what's going to make this interesting. You not really in touch if you not tuning in. This is Crenshaw, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.